And the terrible thing is that everybody is satisfied with the work of Christ except you. And you feel you've got to bring a little bit of yourself and, and then it would be perfect. A little bit of Christian experience and a little bit of gr growth and a little progress and a little suffering and a little witnessing and a little pain in providence. And when you've added that to what Jesus Christ has done, then you, you think, yes, yes, uh, then I'll be accepted. Then I'll become a Christian. You won't come empty-handed to my Savior this morning. You won't say nothing in my hand. I bring nothing. Simply to thy cross I cling. You want something in your hands to give him. Some barter some price you've paid for the glories of a new heavens and a new earth. Then it will be absolutely perfect. You're not sitting down. You're not resting in the work of Jesus Christ. But that's what God the Son did. And that's what the Father does as he rests in what his son has done and that's what the spirit does that they are totally satisfied with the accomplishment of redemption on calvary's cross so what do i want you to do what does god want you to do now this morning well he wants you to do nothing he wants you to do absolutely nothing. He doesn't want you to get out of your seats. He doesn't want you to come to the front. If he was here, I'd say, come and meet him. But the word is near you. The word is in, in your ears. The word is in your mouth. The word is in your mind. The word of the gospel that you have heard this morning of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't want you to be baptized. Um, that's not the answer to your guilt and the stains of your sin. I don't want you to make any resolutions that from now on you're going to come every, every Sunday to this church and that from now on you're going to be more religious. I don't want you to think like that. You're going to be more holy. You're going to give up some bad habits. I don't want you to think about what you are going to do. I want you to sit. I want you to sit absolutely still. I don't want you to move or plan or decide or look away. Nothing. I, I want you to bring nothing to God. I want you, like Mary, just captured by what Jesus was saying and listening and sitting as close to him as she could because she wanted to hear every word that he had to say because his words were life, were forgiveness, were eternity for her. You have heard this morning of what Jesus Christ has done. You've had the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 57 read in your hearing. You've heard about the glorious achievements of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he has by himself, all alone, he's purged the guilt, the shame, the blame of a countless number of people like the sands of the sea shore, and that he now is absolutely satisfied with what he has done, and that he is seated there at the right hand of God. And the question is, are you satisfied with what Jesus Christ has done for you? Are you totally satisfied with what the Lord 
Jesus Christ has done for you. Are you completely satisfied with the saving, purging work of the Son of God?